Hi everybody, I'm Darren Moore and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this video in particular. But let me give you an update on a channel called Sport City. Yes, Sport City. It is a channel dedicated to everything related to Jamaican sports. Football, cricket, athletics, netball, rugby league, rugby union, tennis, lacrosse, swimming, you name it, we got it on Sport City. And what is the channel designed to do? It is designed to highlight Jamaican talents across all of those sporting disciplines. If you're a Jamaican and you're playing that sport, then we got you covered on Sport City. So it's quite simple, guys. Hit the subscribe button to Sport City right now. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters, and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105. Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well and have a pleasant weekend. It is an absolute pleasure to hear and see everybody. My name is Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football, your source for everything Jamaican football related. Bounce TV says blessings, morning, blessing morning. How are you doing, sir? Hope you and the family are also doing quite well and that all are as well. So we look forward to the comments. There's a lot of information to dispense and you will see that in subsequent videos today. So stay tuned for that and you'll get updates as it relates to these sort of situations and you guys can be able to give your opinion as it relates to the potential that lies ahead in the future. The Nations League game between Mexico versus Jamaica to be playing behind closed doors. Mexicans cannot stay out of trouble with FIFA. <laughs> uh, boy, I tell you, you know, we'll get to that. And it's something that I will do my research about, Eagle Republic, but it's always a situation of, you know, what's happening here versus things that are happening. But for this video in particular, I want to touch on Jamil Matt. And Jamil Matt, as you know, Jamaican-born footballer. He's 33 right now, and he's moved to Walsall in League Two. Now, as you know, Walsall is located in the West Midlands of England, specifically speaking in the city of Walsall. But he, this is basically where he moved to when he arrived in the UK from Jamaica when he was 10 years old. So this is basically where he settled and everything of that nature. But in terms of the first club he was at, it was Sutton Cotfield Town. That was where he went. And then he went over to Kidderminster Harriers in Worcestershire. And from there, moved on to the likes of Fleetwood, Stevenage, Plymouth, Blackpool, 
Grimsby. Newport County is where you spend the last two years prior to Forest Green or Ovals, and now at Walsall. I meant to say, why would he move from a League One club to a League Two club? And I'll get to that quite shortly. Absolutely, I will give some updates as it relates. What's the deal in terms of which player or team in particular? Good morning, Simon. Give us some background on Jamil Matt. Certainly, I'm doing that right now. Born on the island, he's 33. He'll be 34 in October. A presence at six foot three. Somebody that has scored goals and right now we could say the best form of his career. Last season, club captain of Forest Green Rovers, he scored 20 goals in 49 appearances as Forest Green Rovers got promoted from League Two to League One. Now, I know you might be saying, again, Simon, why would you move from League One to League Two? Because certainly he's at a club where he's club captain, getting playing time, and certainly not the same treatment that he had at Newport County, where they weren't giving new players contracts despite the great work that he was doing for them. Well, a major reason for this move in particular is down to, to be quite frank with you, management. He's going to be managed by Michael Flynn, a.k.a. Flinny. Now, you guys remember the song at Newport County? Flinny is a gaffer, a proper Newport boy. Yeah, so Michael Flynn was Jamil Matt's manager at Newport County. You guys get what I'm saying here? So that was his manager at Newport County. And basically, he's given Jamil Matt a ring and said, listen, there's an opportunity. We're working together. And, you know, some of the best form that you had as a player came at Newport County, which is true. We all remember that 2018-2019 season where he scored 20 goals in 57 appearances for the club, where he, where Jamil Matt played a big role alongside Michael Flynn to get to the fifth round of the FA Cup. As you guys remember, that run in the FA Cup was incredibly special because, remember, they got past Metropolitan Police, they got past Wrexham, Leicester City, Middlesbrough before taking on Manchester City in the fifth round of the Cup. So a lot of memories that came along that way, especially that victory over Leicester City with Jamil Matt scoring in that game in particular as well. So it just shows exactly what has been done and to see what they have gone on to accomplish great so and of course you know they're very 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 close to being promoted to to league one as we know made it to the playoffs and everything of that nature but a playoff final against Tranmere gutted you know truly truly gutted that you know they weren't able to get promoted but that's basically the situation in that sort of aspect so yeah. you guys have questions that relate specifically towards Jamil Matt and if I personally think that there could be uh, a situation of involvement in the future you guys let me know Devon Porter says if this game plays behind closed doors between Jamaica and Mexico we will definitely beat them I'll do the research to see if this is the case where if it is being played behind closed doors or if it is not being played behind closed doors, I'll get the, the information and, and let you guys know. I'm definitely do that research and keep you guys, guys abreast of what is happening there and if there is a situation where, you know, If it is that there will be that situation. King Chris says, blessed morning. How are you doing, Chris? Pagan180 says, bless up, Simon. How are you doing? Hope you are doing well. But as it relates to Jamil Matt, it's it's quite straightforward. He's moved to a League Two club that have a chance of going to the playoffs. Jamil thinks that he can play football for another few years. Even though he's 33, he keeps himself in very, very good shape. Very, very good shape. And he's always, even after training, he's up and down with his son, doing stuff on the road and, you know, in the house, playing with him. So Jamil Matt's lots of energy, and I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. We know he had that, that injury recently, but thankfully, he's recovered from it, and he's moved on and pressed forward from that situation that he had. So I'm hoping that this is something that 
will pay off quite soon. So hope for the best where, where this is concerned. So I'll definitely keep you guys abreast as it relates to the situation of Mexico in another video. I'll find out the information so that you guys are aware. If you guys post on that, and we'll see how things transpire from there on in. So yeah, folks, Jamil Matz, he's on the move and he's going to Walsall, he has joined, it's an 18 month deal. So that basically ties him to the club until the summer of 2024. So folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Tell us exactly how you feel about this deal. Do you think Jamil should be a third option, a backup option? Should we just at least have him part of the pool? Bear in mind, he already has a Jamaican passport and he offers a different dimension. So if it is a situation where the game is 1-1, nil nil we need a winner you throw on jamil at the last 10 15 minutes and he'll head you head your winner i know football has evolved over time but i still believe that it is imperative that you have a different dimension to how you play one size doesn't fit all there's more than one way to skin the cat so personally when you look at jamil matt and what he's able to offer he can bring that physically imposing presence similar to what we saw of Anandilo back in the day. But that's something that we're going to have to look look out for, hopefully. No, that's something that we can see. I still harbor hopes of seeing him at least once in a Jamaica shirt. I think his time for a call-up was deserved in the under Theodore Kappa Whitmore. I think that's the time where he deserved the opportunity so personally i'm hopeful that an opportunity will come his way soon but yeah folks let me know your thoughts i'm gonna do the digging as it relates to the mexico game in march but and also a situation in relation to paul hall so stay tuned for that folks all right we'll be back for another live in less than half an hour okay guys Cool. This video is brought to you by MPEC Printery, specializing in t-shirt printing, posters, and shipping from the USA. Call 876-775-6692 or 876-337-7374. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-775-6692. 309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. This video is also brought to you by BLC Jamaica Security Electronics. Specializing in alarm system, video surveillance, camera system or CCTV, barrier system, gate automation, and access control. Call 876-320-7711. That's 876-320-7711. Or 876-351-1105. That's 876-351-1105.